Fairy Anna and Rose Princess Once upon a time, in a far-off land, there was a beautiful princess named Rose. She was the most kind-hearted and lovely princess in the entire kingdom, and her beauty was renowned throughout the land. One day, as she was walking in the gardens of her palace, she came across a small fairy named Anna. Anna was different from other fairies, she had a magical aura and a twinkle in her eye that spoke of great power. The princess was fascinated by the fairy's beauty and asked her what magic she possessed. The fairy replied that she had the power to grant wishes, and that she could grant any wish that the princess desired. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more exciting and amazing stories. The princess was overjoyed and wished for a beautiful garden with every type of flower and tree imaginable. Anna smiled and waved her wand, and the garden around the princess transformed into a beautiful oasis of color and fragrance. The princess was so grateful that she invited Anna to the palace for a grand feast in her honor. The fairy accepted the invitation and arrived at the palace in a shimmering gown made of petals and leaves. As the feast began, the princess noticed that the fairy was looking more and more tired. She asked Anna if something was wrong, and the fairy replied that she had been using her magic to help other people in the kingdom, and that she was running low on energy. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more exciting and amazing stories. The princess felt sorry for the fairy and wished that she could help her in some way. Anna replied that the only thing that could restore her energy was the juice of a rare flower that grew on a distant mountaintop. The princess was determined to help the fairy and set out on a quest to find the flower. She traveled for many days through forests and over mountains, facing many dangers along the way. Finally, she reached the mountaintop, where she found the rare flower growing in a hidden grove. She picked the flower and made her way back down the mountain, carrying it carefully in a small vase. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more exciting and amazing stories. When she returned to the palace, she found that Anna had collapsed from exhaustion. The princess rushed to her side and gave her the juice of the rare flower. Anna drank it eagerly and felt her energy returning. The fairy was so grateful that she decided to grant the princess one final wish. The princess thought long and hard and finally wished for the power to make everyone happy, no matter what their troubles may be. Anna smiled and waved her wand once more, and the princess felt a warm, glowing sensation spreading through her body. She knew that she had been granted a great power, and that she could use it to help people all throughout the kingdom. Please like, share and subscribe my channel for more exciting and amazing stories. From that day on, the princess used her power to help everyone she met. She visited sick children in hospitals, she gave food to the hungry, and she even helped a poor farmer save his crops from a drought. And wherever she went, people smiled and thanked her for her kindness. She had become known as the princess who could make everyone happy, and her fame spread throughout the land. In the end, the princess realized that the true power of magic was not in the ability to grant wishes, but in the ability to make others happy. And she knew that with her new power, she could bring happiness and joy to all those around her. The fairy Anna had given her a great gift, and she would use it to make the world a better place for everyone.